Hi, this is Rack, and I'm going to show you how I add custom chain physics to this model here, which is um, AOD Lara. Um, so uh, I have this jacket of which I want to I want to add a little bit of physics. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna just copy a bone from from the skeleton. Um, it it can be any bone. Just uh, just make sure that it's parented to the bone you want it parented to. Um, so in this case, uh, the bone I want it parented to is the spine bone. So I will I will parent this to the spine bone. <coughs> mm. um, you just move the bone so that it's uh, somewhere um, in an ideal position for your physics. Um, I'm gonna make two bones for this. Uh, I'm gonna call it R jacket one. Then I'll make another one called R R jacket two. Uh, after you did this, you you parent this to the first bone so that it moves with it. Uh, then you start painting the weights, which is in this case is is very easy because this model is quite low poly, so uh, R jacket 1, R jacket 2, okay. Um, so I'm gonna select the vertices that I want to work with these. Okay, then I select the bottom ones. Okay, uh, now I think I'm gonna do some, uh, if you move the bones, You'll see it moving. Uh, have to normalize this shit. So normalize all. Uh, I think I'm gonna normalize this first, cause yeah. Okay. Now you should see that your bones are set up. Uh, <coughs> now you can kind of smooth the weights so that it looks a little bit better okay nice uh... I'm gonna smooth a little bit more in here okay now we're gonna just uh... copy these bones again to the other side so that I have it for the other side. Um, I'm gonna rename this to L jacket one. L is for left, by the way. Uh, L jacket two, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did for the other side. So I'm just gonna select these vertices, give them weights. L jacket one, L jacket two. Sign assign the weights for the bottom ones. Now normalize this, then do this again, normalize again. Okay. And now we're set up for this part two. Uh, I'm going to move these slightly there. Now I'm going to smooth this out a little bit. Okay, this looks decent. Maybe. Still want to smooth this a little bit more. Okay. Let me see how it looks on wireframe. Yeah, it looks decent. It looks good. Okay. Okay. So we are ready to export this to the game. So uh, before doing that, remember to limit total to 8 so that you make sure that every vertex only has 8 weights. Export this FBX. Okay. <coughs> I use rewrite and you should use it too. Please use rewrite because it's an awesome feature. Um, okay. 
Okay, now before actually testing the mod, um, you have to edit the chain file, obviously, because um, we have to add the custom bones that we just made. Um, in this case, I'm going to replace these unused necklace bones. Um, I think it is quite unlikely that you don't have stuff you can replace. Um, uh, so if if you have a case where you have to add chain group chain groups, um, I'm not sure how you do that. I mean, I you can play with the offsets, uh, the counts of the chain groups, and see if you can add a new one. I think it should be pretty easy. You should just uh, and then add one at the end of the file. It should be pretty easy, I guess. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna um, uh, use these ne necklace bones. Um, so here I type the name of my bone and then the last bone of the hierarchy. Did I say that correctly? Hierarchy? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Um, then this one too, our jacket two, two nodes because it's two bones. Okay. Uh, now you could go to the game and test, but I won't do that yet. Uh, there's one thing that I do, uh, which is basically um, setting this to zero, because otherwise it's gonna have some weird reactions. Uh, it, this angle limit red, uh, it basically it's like it adds some kind of collision under your stuff, so uh, you just set that to zero. Um, Yep, just set that to zero. Then now we can test how the thing um, looks. Hopefully it looks good. Hopefully. You never know with modding. You never know. Okay, and here it is. You can see our our custom physics it's working um, if it moves a little bit too much you can just uh, tweak the weights so that uh, it's a bit more um, so that it moves a little bit less um, and yeah this is this is everything I guess uh, this tutorial is kind of shitty but uh, I don't know when I will have a t the time for like a full tutorial, so I just wanted to make this one quick because uh, these are just four bones that I had to add. So I was like, okay, I'll just show it so that people know how to add custom bones to our engine skeletons. Uh, this is my Angel of Darkness Lara by mo mod, by the way. Uh, she looks awesome as she always does because she's a fucking queen and we be new. She's awesome, and the hair physics is also awesome. Okay, so this is everything. Uh, if you have questions, just ask in the comments, and bye.